Today I'm going to be showing you all around my room to show you exactly what I keep, how I organize my room, and how I get stuff done in my room. Now I'm not going to lie to you, my room isn't the coolest, it's not the biggest, it's not anything like that, but there are a few cool things in my room that I didn't want to show you, whether it be art pieces, whether it be some organization pieces, or even some of my personal collections, and also there's a bunch of random things in my room that I think are pretty cool. And honestly, this is a video that has been requested a lot, so whatever video you ask, I'll try to make, and this is going to be a perfect example of that. So without wasting any more time, I'm going to be showing you exactly what's in my room. All right, so I guess this is going to be the first place that I'm going to show you just because this is right next to my door. Right here is going to be where I have my floating shelves, which I've talked about in the past before, but still, I always get questions about that. These I picked up on Amazon for super cheap. I'm going to be linking them in the description as well as everything else. But pretty much on the top one, I'm going to have some pop figures, which I do want to pick up more of, but I just don't know which ones to get or where to get the best ones. And then on the second one is going to be where I have my sunglasses, my jewelry pendants. I'm going to be having random stuff on this one. Right there, I have two pairs of Ray-Bans and the third one is gonna be some watches some glasses this is just where I keep some random stuff that I don't know where to put it's gonna be in there then underneath all that I have a small little nightstand where again I keep more random things on the first drawer is actually where I keep my cologne which lately I have been building a cologne collection I have probably about four or five bottles right now but I definitely want to get a lot more but I'm not gonna get into that all that much just because I'm gonna save colognes for a different video but yeah again this is kind of more of like my organization honestly I think it'd be easier if I just show you myself like this all right so honestly it does look a little bit messy this is again random things in my room i apologize this is really close to my face but yeah sometimes it'll be like 1 a.m so sometimes i'll just get a red bull that's why i keep them right there if i'm up editing doing homework whatever sometimes i just need one i do understand it is really bad to be addicted to caffeine the way that i am but whatever it's all good and then just for the most part whatever i keep here I have boxes of t shanley i have for some reason a random duck i have some products by blue mon right here just for some reason they're in my room i have more in my bathroom i'll keep my deodorant some supplements some vaseline right here's where i keep my wallet and my keys by the way by the way i'm a big fan of how my keys look i have a little spider-man figure dangling for my keys for some reason a lot of things in my room are gonna be super random you'll see that a lot and that's because whenever i see something funny to me or i just feel like it'll look cool in my room for example whenever i do live streams a lot of people like to point out the fact that i have a pinata in my room again it's just random to me i think it's funny i really wish this camera wasn't as zoomed in as it is but it's all good but yeah anyways moving on to the desk because that's mostly what you see in the background of my videos is my desk but i never really got to explain it so here we are right now this chair i picked up from ikea i think it was only about 100 bucks it's probably one of the most comfortable chairs i've ever picked up i'm not gonna lie when it comes to chairs like this i think they're way better just because they're cheaper than gaming chairs and me personally i'm not gonna spend like 300 dollars on a chair i've never understood the hype when it comes to gaming chairs but maybe one day i might pick it up but for now this 100 dollar ikea chair is just perfect for me the next thing that I always keep with me is going to be a wireless charger for my phone. That one I can just plug in and then you can see Leonardo DiCaprio right there for some reason. But anyways, I'm a really big fan of my setup. I do play a lot of video games, that's why I have my controller right here. I have a controller holder and that is going to be a little Deadpool. I think it's really cool. I think it's really funny for some reason. Again, everything's going to be linked in the description. In case you see something that you like and you think it'll be funny or it'll look cool in your room, Everything's gonna be linked in the description. But one thing that I really wanted to get into recently was gonna be more art pieces in my room or just any type of decor in my room. When I saw this little painting of Baby Yoda, I decided to pick it up because The Mandalorian is one of my favorite shows. Another one of my favorite shows is going to be Rick and Morty and that's why I have a little Rick and Morty piece on top. This one I actually ended up picking up from Redbubble which is a website that I just recently got put on. They have a lot of cool things for your room. They have art pieces like the one that I'm showing right now. They also have more than I wanna pick up. One I saw that I really wanna pick up soon is going to be one from The Wolf of Wall Street. I'm a big fan of that movie. I'm a big fan of Leonardo DiCaprio in general, but yeah. Another art piece that I picked up from Redbubble is going to be this piece right here, which I think looks really cool. I don't really know the meaning of it, but when I saw it, I thought it'd be a little cool addition to my room, so I picked it up, kind of going in order. So next to my setup, I'm going to have, I'm gonna have a little wardrobe hanging thing i don't know exactly what they're called this one i picked up on amazon as well it was really cheap so right here is going to be where i keep my jewelry pieces some pieces of clothing that i mostly like to wear especially for the season right now it's raining outside it's cold outside so so everything that i keep right here is going to be mostly for the winter and the fall so i have my thicker jackets i have some hoodies right there just some of my favorite pieces for this season and then underneath i'm going to have several pairs of shoes i'm going to have my new balance my blazers my converse right here i have my tripod that i was recording on earlier but but usually i'll keep it on this side of the room just so i can have it facing my setup like the way I usually record my videos and then right here is gonna be where I have my dresser I have some clothes in here I don't really wear the clothes that I have in here too much most of the clothes that I wear are gonna be hanging right here or inside my actual closet but I don't really want to show my closet because my closet really sucks it's really unorganized it's super messy but it definitely gets the job done so I'm not really complaining too much but it's just really not something that I'm gonna be showing off too much 
So aside from the mirror that I have right here, I do want to pick up another mirror to kind of show my entire outfit, but it really only shows like my torso and up. I kind of want to see my full outfit in this mirror, so I'll definitely pick up one soon. Then right here, I'm going to have some more jewelry pieces. Right here is going to be where I have my bed. Again, my bed really isn't too crazy. There's not really much to it, obviously, So, but I really like the way it looks. One thing that I really keep that's really funny, in my opinion, is going to be this kind of weird little plush Spider-Man thing that I picked up at the Disney store. It looks kind of funny. That's exactly where I picked it up, but yeah. He's soft. Anyways, next to my bed, I'm gonna have some more shoes. I have my Dunks, I have Air Maxes, I have some Jordan 1s, some Air Forces. I have more shoes in my closet, but again, that's really messy. But for right now, these are probably gonna be the shoes that I'm gonna be wearing most. All these shoes right here, as well as these shoes that I keep right here. And then on top, it's gonna be where I keep my hats. My hat collection has definitely grown a lot recently. I have a Fear God one, Detroit one. A lot of these teams, I don't know the names of. Just because I'm not that huge into baseball, I just kinda like the hats. So yeah, if I'm wearing a team that you don't like, or I don't own a hat from the team that you do like, I apologize right now. I just hope that you know. All the teams that I have right now mean nothing to me, so I don't mean to offend you. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my room. Again, and it's nothing too crazy my room isn't huge but I am pretty proud of it I like how the way it looks I like the way that all my collections are kind of displayed again it isn't the biggest but for now it definitely gets the job done so this video was requested a lot so I hope you did enjoy it. and if you did make sure to leave a like I really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed already I'll leave a button for you to do that right here and if you want to see more videos right away here are a few that I think could really help you out but anyways other than that I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video later